The mic is hot, me lad. Let me tell you something, lassie. I don't know. That sounds more Scottish. Yeah, you Scottish. Got a, you're a booty, my old friend. Yeah, booty. No, no. <laughs> booty. <laughs> That's not in there, Let's man. not try. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Pat Cave, a show where we talk all about superheroes, pop culture, movies, TVs. I grew up with a lot of TVs. TVs, yeah. <laughs> Panasonic. <laughs> yeah, Panasonic, Yamaha. I'm still working on that intro, yeah. okay? It's great. No, I love no, it. Movie and TV shows. That we grew I'm just up gonna with. have you grab one of our famous cards that we pass out to people. Oh yeah, you want me to read that? Yeah, guys, we have business cards. We're official. Welcome to the Pat Cave, a show where we talk all about superheroes, pop culture, nostalgic TV and movies we grew up with. Yay! Oh, <laughs> uh, and I am embarrassed to admit that I did grow up with this. Yeah, I'm not embarrassed of my heritage, booty. Yeah, have you have you guys figured out what we watched today? A little Disney Channel original movie classic, The Luck of the Irish. What tends to happen when we talk about these movies prior to watching them is just the trailer, the decom, yeah. just like that footage rolls. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it was the shit. Yeah. I'm like bouncing up and down in my <laughs> up chair. next. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that Dude, guy. So, yeah, that kid, the main character. What oh, was yeah, Ryan Merriman. Ryan. What was his name in this? Uh, Kyle Johnson. Kyle. Kyle, yeah. So Kyle... I wanted to be Kyle. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I literally wrote down at one point, Patrick is Kyle and Kyle is Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I, you know, I am Irish. So maybe that's where I get my luck from. Yeah. You know? So because we start off this movie with this kid just dominating school. I mean, is this middle school? Uh, yeah, they did this say is... it was middle school. and So he's eighth grade then, right? Yeah, and confirmed it wasn't in Canada, although despite some evidence on screen. <laughs> no, I, I only said that because those epic mountains I saw. And we did find out that it's very, it very well could be the same mountain range that we saw in Don't Look Under the Bed. Yeah, which we thought was Canada. <laughs> we also thought that was Canada. <laughs> so if you go back and watch that episode, like... We're sorry. Blame us. <laughs> sorry. 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 We're sorry. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, we start off with Kyle hitting the game-winning shot with a volleyball slap. Yeah, and it looked like Gilderoy Lockhart when he cast that spell on Harry's arm and <laughs> turned it to jello. And then the ball just, like, enters the shoot. net. Yeah, it was horrible Like, it editing. had a trip booked. Horrible editing. It was terrible. Yes, but the next day, he's walking around like a celebrity, man. Yeah. He's, like, hitting the little grooves, Got dances. Got that, that kiss from the cheerleader. Yeah, dude, he's He's, like, inventing it. dances with his friends by the bus stop. Yeah, and I'm just, like... As a kid, I remember watching that and be like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like, if we made a Mount Rushmore of characters, Pat was like, that's me. It's it's Zac Efron's Troy Bolton. It's it's this guy, Kyle. There was one other one. Stop it. You're making me smile. It's just funny. <laughs> yeah. Another well, high school musical. Well, that's just like uh, you've heard me say it a million times. I just wanted to be the main character of all of these movies like anytime there'd be a new there's want and then there's emulate and you walk around <laughs> emulating i'm a disney channel original movie star that's true that's it's, true it's so funny uh i miss my calling huh yeah thank god you should have been a canadian <laughs> no. or a utahian utah Utah-ian? utah yeah it looked beautiful but it, it had the same film style as you know, of course, don't look under the bed and a couple of those the, the weird angles. The whole movie had an eerie feeling yeah. because they were hiding uh, a eerie, secret. Like Lake Eerie. Oh, uh, yeah. His sorry. dad's from Cleveland, <laughs> yeah. which is pretty funny. Yeah, that part was good. Uh, yeah, so, it would suck to be condemned to the shores of Lake Erie, Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. That would suck. Yeah, so. Should yeah. we just do a, I have a seven points of the plot. Okay, let's try. It. Okay. No, let's it's booty, seven points. Seven that, points. That, Usually that, I, that, I try to stick with five. This movie was a little complicated. You need I'm it gonna seven. take you through it. You needed seven. So first off, we, we were just discussing Kyle's very lucky. He's even got a coin strapped to his neck. Yeah. Don't forget your lucky coin. Totally not a stereotype. Uh, number two, Kyle wants to know about his heritage, so his parents gaslight him. And then there's just an onslaught of creepy scenes with like forensic files music playing in the background. Number three, uh, uh, he searches hard, and one day he sees a sign for an Irish festival, so he goes there. You know, he goes and sees yeah, people well, dancing, well, he's, and he's like, oh my god, I'm dancing. Well, he sees one of the flyers has a, a coin on it. The Emerald Isle yeah, yeah, it, no, yeah, it has the same has the same logo as his necklace. So he's like, "Whoa, I guess this is Irish." Okay, you know, I'm gonna go to that festival. Yeah, so he goes to this festival, and then further evidence occurs, and he is not only Irish because that his dad's pretty redhead. Am I right? Yeah, like, but from, his dad's not Irish. His mom also. No, I know his dad, yeah. but like genetics, like your lottery of color, regardless of you know your 
You know, you're going to have, like, I don't know. They're a bunch of mutants. I don't think that's how it works. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, Stan's I know you don't know. Okay. Not only is he Irish, he's also a leprechaun. Okay. <laughs> um, then his grandfather and Kyle both, no, they only had one coin. They got their coin. Did you the write family these down coin. Or not? I did write these down. Okay, because you keep five. looking at me and double checking. No, because I'm like, I, just because this is your podcast. <laughs> I was like, Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so so he gets his coin stolen. Coin stolen, and he has the worst and day of his the life. Coin is symbolic of his family's luck. Yes, like it, that's not what symbolic. They say. It's actually it is the luck. Represent, it is their luck of these Irish people. So he has the worst day of his life. The luck of the Irish. Yes. Okay. Just his family. Um, they win their luck back from the bad guy and his minions in a competition of both Irish and American sports. Yes. And then all is well, and Kyle knows about his heritage now. Um, Cue the melting pot. Yeah. <laughs> This brand is my man. Oh, wait, it's not at all. I don't know. It was weird because, first of all, each race of people got their own Disney Channel movie. All of them? They got them all? I mean, yeah, they they definitely did, you know, Native American Catch them, catch them, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Heritage. I think they're going down the list and they're like, oh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Yeah. Let's it, do this... one on, on leprechauns. Very stereotypical Irish stuff. You know, his hair starts turning this bright red. His ears get pointy. Yeah. Like, I didn't know yeah. leprechauns' ears were pointy. I, I thought that was like an elf thing. When I was his age, I didn't know what the word Vulcan meant. Vulcan? He's yeah. Like, I'm turning into a Vulcan. They, Star Trek reference, right? Yeah, Damn. I think so. Or is, are Vulcans just like a. Uh, just like Spock. A, Spock. Yeah. So it is a Star Trek race. Yeah. This movie should be a drinking game. Just so much like random tap dancing, playing of a piccolo. Tap dancing. Uh, is that what you call it? Oh, sorry. River dance. River dancing. Yeah. <laughs> they are tapping a lot. Yeah. They, they don't have tap shoes on, though. None. No. It's no. not tap dancing. A couple of times that we had to rewind. I think we should have oh, like a my segment. Oh, God. We yeah. Should, we should make a new segment right now. What How, did I just see? Be kind and rewind. Detective to, mode. Yeah. Let's call it detective <laughs> mode. So he gets his coins stolen. He thinks his grandpa did it. Goes to the potato chip factory, and which his grandpa owns. And his grandpa's a leprechaun, too. So he's like 200 years old or something. And he invented the pe- yeah, potato chip. Yeah, he claims chip. to be the inventor of potato chips. Yeah. Well, they're like running from security, and they're in a, a golf cart. Right. And cue the stunt doubles, and the guy's you know, thrown from the golf cart, and the girl that's in the front seat is just not in the scene. Yeah. I and and I kind of like just was like, wait, Booty, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Well, no. <laughs> and I'm like, I think she's not in the car. Yeah, and then booty, booty, booty. And then yeah. all of a sudden we check and here she is. Yeah. Here she's not. <laughs> like. That was our detective mode segment. Yeah. Detective mode. This movie is. It sucked, man. Oh, my God. It was bad. I, I, I would go back and watch. Uh, my date with the president's daughter a million times over this. Movie. Yeah, I mean that was that was funny at least, entertaining. There was such a cringe moment when they're like underneath the umbrella in the Cadillac. Oh yeah, and the he, joke about slavery. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Russell, his yeah. friend, like they're the grandpa's like talking about all of the hardships the Irish people have endured. Yeah, and he says something about like you know they paid took, very little yeah they took all the jobs no one wanted and they paid very little and then russell looks up underneath the umbrella this soaking wet kid that is just like why are all these white people complaining about their time and he goes at least they got paid and <laughs> yeah. it was like oh my god yeah, your dad's a nba player bro <laughs> oh yeah his dad is Thurl <laughs> bailey who played for the utah jazz and he was on i mean not his real dad let's clarify his actor dad <laughs> who's like seven feet tall yeah he's kid. in the movie yeah no wonder he's measuring his height so funny i wish i liked sports as a kid so i probably would have been like oh my god maybe not you wish you liked sports as a kid i did i really didn't care you wanted to be like cal uh i wanted to be like cal <laughs> but yeah his dad is a, you got some notes <laughs> yeah i i have some uh let, let me hear some of them booty notes. Yeah. How did his parents keep up this charade for so long? Yeah, it's it was like the Twilight Zone. Right when we start, he goes, Mom, where are we from? Yeah. And the parents turn into, like, weird creatures that are trying to hide a secret that it just felt very uncomfortable it did and it was like the beginning of the movie we'd only had a solid three minutes of his mom being irish even I mean, not that she didn't you know what i'm saying yeah and then he asks one question she's like oh i don't remember <laughs> and it was just like the most like stereotypical irish accent you know i just went to ireland you know they're like hey how are you laddie what's your name i'm like patrick and they're like oh good old irish name where are you from 
And I go, Chicago. Did you ever question, like, as a kid, like, Carlos O'Kelly's? They have a. I've, I, I guess I didn't grow up questioning Carlos <laughs> O'Kelly's, did. dude. Did you know that this movie had a remake? This movie did not have a remake. It was called Luck Luck Kibat in 2012. It was turned into an Indian Hindi language television film. Uh, yes. What are you talking about, dude? It was dude? on the Wikipedia page. They took this script and turned it into an Indian version of this movie. No way. Luck Luck Kibat. Wow. We should have watched that one. I don't. I don't think that would have been worse. <laughs> I strangely think that that would have been a fun time as well. And I love St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Like obviously it's my name, but also like I wear the Green Lantern suit all over town. He does our do parade. That. I mean, everyone's just walking around downtown drinking. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. But this movie sucked. I know. <laughs> what a terrible soundtrack. Yeah. It was like someone oh, sat in the band room that. and left the door open and just like. <laughs> it sounded like, I don't even know what to explain. Just not entertaining. Not entertaining. Yeah. Weird camera shots for no reason. Like, that's the thing. The whole, like, 15 to 20 minutes of the beginning of the movie is really garbage. Like, yeah. like just the, the stalest that any thing could be. And then... You're like, I think as a kid, you're like, oh my god, leprechauns! This is so cool. Yeah, that did not age well as no, an it, adult. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> base level knowledge of leprechauns. It's okay. Let's go to the end of the rainbow. There's a pot of gold. Somehow this guy's got tornado lightning powers. You know. His- Side note: <laughs> They invented potato chips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're kind of like wizards. Like I didn't know leprechauns. I didn't know luck was also magic. But also within you, magic. <laughs> it was. Uh, yeah, they were like sorcerers. Yeah. Because the mom shrank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you get anything done at that size? She like let her hair out. It was like, oh, I'm trying something new. Sure. Yeah, they they throw down the the Irish breakfast in front of them. Yeah, that was pretty funny. What oh. was the? I don't remember what she called it, but the food that he took to school and spilled all over himself. <laughs> yeah, come on, mom. Yeah, <laughs> put a lid on the bucket at least. <laughs> Loses she, his homework. Well, she was having a bad day too because the luck was gone. I don't understand the proximity thing with this luck. <laughs> like that's, that's what doesn't make sense to me. Oh, you can feel it from all around, boyo. Just picture this, guys. He goes to school. That's like a let's say a couple miles away from his house. <laughs> Don't try to. Oh, I mean, but then his grandfather is just running this this business willy nilly, and he has has There's lost his coin. One, one coin for the, the family. whole family. Their clan. The whole clan. So if he has cousins, those cousins are extra. F- <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, we're trying this new thing where I don't swear as much. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed in previous episodes. Um, so there's that, and then his grandfather. It's got to be miles away. He is thriving. Only when he realizes Kyle does not have his coin anymore, he's like, oh, I'm going to go bankrupt. He's a millionaire. Yeah. Oh, man, and they did Russell pretty bogus, like made him horrible at, at basketball. Yeah. Even though his dad is an NBA player. And he kept talking about the things his dad was doing to belittle him in his NBA. He's like, man, I, I wish I was as lucky as you. And there's Kyle. Luck's got nothing to do with, with it. it. Throws it behind his head. It yeah. goes in. <laughs> Just anything he throws up goes in. Yeah. Which was nice yeah. to see, like him get belittled when the coach was like, "That coach was intense." You know what? That re- <laughs> that coach. <laughs> I think his, his that coach was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think his mustache and uh, and eyebrows were more intense than him as an actor. But <laughs> <laughs> they were moving in they, a separate yeah. pattern. All right, guys. Like he was, he was pretty yeah. intense. But he made them all like take ten free throws to like prepare for the next you game. You know what this made me ex- excited to watch, which uh, I think we should watch. Smart House. No, 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 no. Uh, we should watch that. Hell city. yeah! But we should watch Like Mike. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Two thousand and three. I want to say. Yeah, because dude. I, oh man, that's how much I don't want to talk about this movie. <laughs> I know we are we are struggling here. I mean, like I they do, they mentioned Dennis. Rodman at one point. Oh uh, yeah, because yeah, his hair turns orange, and yeah. Russell's like, "Oh, cool hair dye." I wanted to do that, but my dad had this thing about Dennis Rodman. <laughs> yeah. What else we got here? What else we got here? Fashion in the two thousands for men. Essentially, oh. just what middle aged dads wear now. That you got brought back. Oh, that brought back some memories. Yeah, just plaid shirts, puka neck. They all the guys had these like necklaces, it khakis, like. Ka- long, khakis. Those just like long sleeved. With one stripe, mm-hmm. kind of yeah. just Coles clothes, like just something you get at Coles. Vests you never needed. <laughs> um, j- shoes that look like I'm ready to get made fun of, 
but also climb a mountain if Run I need track. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So strange. Also, oh, the girl, um, Alexis Lopez, bon- Bonnie. She had this like lizard snakeskin print jacket. The, it was like Xenon. She looked like a character from Xenon. That was the trends. Yeah. Those were the trends. The trans? The, no, the trends. <laughs> oh, I was like, what are you? <laughs> Those were the trends, bro. <laughs> Let's talk about the bad guy real quick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sh- uh, she- Seamus McTiernan. Seamus. <laughs> Seamus. <laughs> yeah, so this guy stole the coin, the luck. He's been going around, wants to be king of the leprechauns. Yeah. Yeah, and so they love to bet. They love to gamble. That's how Kyle gets out of it. He's a, but anyway, they make a bet. Like, I bet I could beat you in sports. Yes. So, of course, he he wasn't specific enough, so he takes him back to old Ireland. With his luck. <laughs> he claps his hands. Yeah, they, he says, a... deal, and then boom. <laughs> they're they're back in the old times playing. Q Skyrim music. Yeah, oh, hey. they're playing these old Irish games that they've played for over 3,000 years or something. It's yeah. oh, you know, they're spear throwing. The something. Tight. Tail Tillian games. Yeah, the tall. I don't. I don't care. It was, yeah, there was just a bunch of you know some things that Kyle couldn't do simply because he's a kid. No, pick, he did them pick, extremely well for his first time. Actually, I mean, pick pick up a boulder. He couldn't do that. That's true. Right? Couldn't he, throw the wheel. Just the strength stuff. Yeah. But then he yeah he threw a spear. He's like, we love baseball. Throws a spear. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that correlates to baseball. Yeah, and it was like, we don't believe in kings. We believe in. Baseball. baseball yeah throws a spear 75 yards nails it in the center of the bullseye yeah then dances yeah <laughs> you you literally predicted it i said he better not break dance like that i just be smiled just, like oh, he won that he did uh, yeah, well, no, he, they tied so that was the whole trick no but he won the break dance he won oh, the yes. dancing he didn't win that challenge and i'm like who's who's the judges who's voting for this you just see some Old Irish chick just getting all hot and sweaty because he's pulling a magic mic. In our eyes, they both lost. <laughs> yes. It was not anything. And then they do, you know, of course, they got to do an American sport now. So they go to basketball. Weird basketball scene. People oh. people are like. It's a it's a transitional, like, they're they're having a hallucination is what's happening. Yeah, but, but like, someone should have been on set that actually played basketball. Maybe the NBA player, but, like, <laughs> he was just there. the physics of basketball, it kind of. It had to have been the editing, just like yeah. But that one guy did miss that block. Remember when he just kind of oh, waved yeah. to the camera? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's a full-grown man. This is my scene. <laughs> oh my God. He could have stuffed Russell so hard. Yeah, but like this whole basketball game is taking place. It was one of those like classic like Fast and Furious, the runway never ends like <laughs> situations because we see the time five seconds, five point four, five point six seconds. We are trucking like 12 yeah. to 30 seconds. Yeah, I mean, they had four or five possessions, five shots, two blocks. I'm like, wait, what the heck's going on? Yeah. Unless they were fouling every two or yeah, three seconds. Yeah, uh, and then, of course, yeah, Russell was the one that he, had a, the day. he had a lucky coin in his, yeah. in his shoe given to him by slave grandpa. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> he was in shackles up on the— They cuddled in the Cadillac. They did. I mean— Man, I want to take a shower. I just felt weird. Like I was just like, huh. I felt I like, I'm just I like judged myself off. as a kid. That's what I did. I was like, you sat there and watched this, and I know I did. <laughs> well, I mean, it was colorful and fun. And look, Kyle, it it's was Kyle. colorful and fun. Just check their it's library for all those Macs. It's Smart House. It was he, yeah, Smart House, and he had those weird dance moves in Smart House. Yeah, too. it's like let's use. Hey, you're good at dancing, right? Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, and then did, were you familiar with the other one that he filmed, which was like the Ring of Endless Light? Yeah, was that the Mermaid one? Yeah, no, that one's that the thirteenth year. Okay, I have always thought that that guy was in thirteenth year. Oh no, no, definitely different yeah. actor. And um, the other one is just like the girl from the OC. Okay, Misha oh yeah, Barton for sure, and for sure. Him and they save a dolphin, I think. Yeah. Her grandpa dies at the end, tragically. Oh, um, no. Of old age. Anyways. The dolphin raped him. Yeah. Back to the gym. Last thing about the gymnasium. The whole thing that's taking place that's the most unsettling part of this movie yeah. is the leprechaun, the evil one, yeah. Seamus, and his henchmen. Kyle and friends are hallucinating. They're wizards. They're wizards, <laughs> but they're, they're tripping out because randomly- you will see all of these weird 40-year-old henchmen 
wearing these basketball jerseys. One looks like me, and he is not filling it out well. Next to a middle schooler. Next to the middle schoolers. <laughs> and, and Kyle makes a joke to the ref. He's like, hey, doesn't that guy seem to be a little old? And he smiles awkwardly. He's like, no, what are you, crazy? Let's play basketball. <laughs> no, I forgot. This is totally high school. They said junior high. Junior high. Okay. Yeah. Are we at the Pat and Booty scores? I think so. Okay. Uh, what? Your bountiful booty score. <laughs> oh, your bountiful booty score. Uh, what is it? Oh, man. 1.9. 1.9 out of on 10, the, on booty. The, on the edge of getting a, a oh, 2 out of 10. That's not very bountiful. I mean, it's just telling that like this kid was in three movies and someone was going to fail with him. And yeah. I mean, he did good. He acted. He was fine. Did, yeah, he was... He's, you hear that, Ryan? You you did good, man. You did good. Yeah. Styled my hair like his after these movies. So. Yeah. <laughs> he did something right, you know? I guess. <laughs> I, I, I frosted oh, my tips. That's the other one that I was forgetting about. Eddie. It's You You in high school were <laughs> this Ryan, oh, yeah, and Ryan million, Eddie, and Troy. <laughs> Eddie's Million Dollar Cook Off. Yeah. All right. Well, my Bountiful Booty score, yeah, I'm going to give it a 2.1 out of 10. Um, this is setting a low bar. Yeah. This is the lowest probably. Usually nostalgia wins out. Yeah. That's why we do this. And yeah. We're like, oh, I still loved it. Yeah. It kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. I never need to see this again. <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah absolutely not this is bo- i think bottom of the list of what if, we've yeah watched. and if if i'm gonna watch any part of it it's gonna be kyle dancing at the bus stop doing his dances walking through the hallways yeah. <laughs> not break dancing on the golf course That's he my danced Irish. a lot he did and uh, he couldn't help it go kyle go, go kyle. kyle uh uh, uh. well that was the luck of the irish thank you for tuning in to the pat cave i am pat clark and I am, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Alex. <laughs> I'm bad at Irish accents. And I'm bad at Irish accents, love. Find us on the socials at Pat Cave Comics. Uh, check us out on Spotify, uh, Apple Music. Stop making that face. <laughs> <laughs> this movie. Yeah, this was not a good one. No. But hopefully, you know, we're going to come back strong. Yeah, I just love just, just dragging them through the mud. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just ruining our childhood. Yeah, just, <laughs> it's actually what's happening right now. <laughs> so comment down below on your favorite Disney Channel original movie. Maybe you guys should take the wheel. Yeah. What's the next Disney yeah, Channel? Yeah, comment some uh, other ones we should watch. Yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with your local nerds. And that was The Bat Cave. Thou once was a ship that put to sea the name of the ship was a brilliant. Hark, but it was based on a reel that's just a pirate. <laughs>